Hello, good evening. Welcome to RVMax.us YouTube channel. My name is Sachin Shah. Um, the subscribers know our son does all the videos, but we have to catch up here. He's in college and fall and all kinds of stuff here. This motorhome has been on online, but now we're going to put a video up. So by that way, it'll help you out to look at condition of this motorhome, good, bad, and ugly. In the video, we're going to go through all of that. Both the windshields are free of any cracks or maybe there's a barely star crack on top right there. It may be a bird crap, but I'm going to tell you, is that bird crap? What does it look like? Ah, oh, I'd say it's a star crack. Hard to see well, right there on the wall. All right, black champagne and as American Eagle always do a lot of chromes, okay? Beautiful front. No 3M film issue. You know how you see some of those coaches, they get really, really ugly. It does have some body damage on the other side. I'll show you. It does open up like this. It's a hydraulically slide out that opens a generator. 7,500 watts generator. Uh, as, you, we, as we go into the video, you'll see there is no passenger seat. This was a racing team motorhome. But look at how clean that generator here, generator is. It's, hours on. it's got 7,600 hours. Those of the people they are afraid of are hours, let me tell you what, we've seen over 12, 15,000 hours on some of these generators. It's a Kubota diesel engine. Hate to say that, we just sold a motorhome with a very low miles and almost no hours on generator. People bought it, we're taking it back to Arizona. Oh, it's getting stuck. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Good, 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 good noticing there. I mean, I think the way we're tilted right now, so I'll, I've got it jacked up. I'll probably put that back. Thank you. So uh, anyway, talking about hours, low hours, and they had to have a maintenance done. Sometimes diesel engines, you put miles on them, the more you run them, the better the better it is. So you may have another five, six, ten thousand hours. Okay, two big slide outs. Uh, slide out toppers got a little tear up there. This is a consignment coach. We're selling for a friend of ours, so you know, uh, I'm gonna show you like it is. If you want us to fix it, it'll cost all the money. Uh, we can change that new fabric, uh, fabric there. We can patch it up. It'll look better than that. But if you want a new uh, topper there, we're talking somewhere around five hundred bucks. Okay. Um, coach looks good. It's that little D lamb here, okay? So I'm going to nitpick this coach, okay? A lot of these eagles have those. No foggy windows. That's a good thing. A slight D lamb here, but it's hard, okay? Uh, Michelin tires are like uh, late 2016 production date. Could have been installed in 2017. They're about two to three years old. Uh, nothing to worry about. Good, solid tires. No dry crack. They're a lot less than five years old. So you may have another two, three years to go. Aluminum. Elko wheels. The black part, let's get close here. No checking, okay? Some of these older coaches, they get checking. No checking in it. It's, it's in really good shape. Uh, over here, we got a, let's see if I can get it open. LP tank, a pretty big LP tank. They have a pass through storage. There's a Gen Touri. That means you can hook it up to your exhaust pipe for a generator and it'll throw the smoke up on the air above the motorhome. Yep, this thing had seen a lot of dry camping. Boondocking, whatever you call it. Another pass through storage. That's an, ex well, let me tell you what. It's got an additional extra freshwater tank because that's what uh, you don't see that in a normal American Eagle. This thing was made for people to take a shower. How about that? So it may have a 250, 200 gallon, 200 plus gallon freshwater tank. I just noticed that. Wash bay, this is where you hook up your sewer, all that stuff. We're gonna have it winterized here, come soon in about another day or so. That's your uh, gravity filled water. See right here on the rib, it's a little bit of rib. I've seen a lot of American coaches have that. So if you're looking for one with no d lamb, then just stop the video, look somewhere else. It does have some flaws, as all older motorhomes would have it. And again, it's not, it's hard. I've seen a lot of motorhomes, they, they get little, 
side rib D-lamb and you can only see it from far away. Another big slide back here, bedroom slide. All the seals look good, no water leaks. That's one thing I can tell you. We've had this coach for a while. And look at the back side of the slide out topper. It's fine, it just got that little tear. I just wanted to point, out, point it out. Uh, this bedroom slide out topper looks okay. If it's a vinyl, I don't know. I can't, when I get up there, I can see it. If it's vinyl, they're like a hundred bucks. And if you know how to do it yourself, you can change it yourself. Well, the guy will charge you hundred bucks. It could be a couple of hundred dollars. So I take that $500 back unless it's acrylic, then it'll be more money. That's your 50 amp power cord. Side mount radiator, that's your radiator. I know it's kind of getting dark, but I'm, I'm trying to point out any scratches and stuff I can see. But if I miss any scratches and you find one, guess what? You get it for free. Like a little road rock chip. I mean, it's an O2, 17 years old motorhome. But it's beautiful. I tell you what, it's got a great curb appeal. Uh, I think it's got like three, four different colors. Black, champagne, light champagne, brown, something like that. The back engine hatch opens up. Uh, let's talk about some good part. We have an ISL 400 Cummins. That's an 8.9 liter big Cummins. Another chrome bumper. Looks beautiful like front bumper and rear bumper. I mean, it is American Eagle, okay? So, you know, with the flaws or with, with some flaws and some good positive stuff, it's a beautiful Eagle. Check it out. Let me go behind and see it. It's, it's evening, but it still looks good. Yep. So I see another rib right here. If you can see it from a certain angle, okay, it's just like, so, you know, yes, it's a typical American Eagle characteristic, okay. Uh, if you see it from a certain side, you'll see little ribs. Uh, it's got a six-pack. That's what it is. It's got six-packs. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Let's see what we... This is all your filters. The air filter seems pretty new. A friend of ours owned it. Uh, it's in trucking business, so he maintained it pretty well. By the way, let's go back and show you. That's a 16,000 pound towing capacity upgraded hitch. Usually all the American Eagle in 2002, they'll come with a 10,000 pound. This one is a 16,000 pound hitch. What happened, he got a big toter home with a Detroit diesel. So that's the reason of selling it. Uh, but it's got 16,000 pound. He, he was in um, drag, drag car racing, but he didn't tow much long, uh, uh, too long. I mean, a long of a distance from his home to a drag strip. It's very near, but anyway, a little chip right here. And this side of black paint, I can see a little paint checking, just hard to see in the video. You may not see it. If you get really close with a magnifying glass or eyes like I have, you'll see it. Again, that's free of charge. It's just an age-related uh, flaws, I guess I would say. This is your outside refrigerator for tailgating. It's a refrigerator plus a freezer. You can change the thermostats here. We Usually, again. Sure. No rust. It's pretty good. We haven't checked it, but they usually work, okay? I just want to tell you like it is. It should work. If it doesn't work, you got a storage. <laughs> How about that? Uh, we're just trying to catch up on some videos, so I'd like to tell you like it is. A little storage here, two furnace, dual zone furnace. Oh, batteries are back there, yes. Let me show that. In the battery compartment, thank you, boo. Keeping me in line. That's what she does. She's good at it. <laughs> two good batteries, it cranks right up every time. And you got four coach batteries on the bottom. Those are three, yeah, they come out. They have a little It'll come out, I think there are three coach batteries. How about that? I think there are three. Thank you. Tires. Tires, Michelin, look at them. They're, they're 275, 80, 22 and a half. I saw a date coach somewhere. They're like 16, like a 36 or 46 of 16. So that's when they were manufactured. That doesn't mean they were put on right then. So they probably went from a manufacturing facility to a warehouse and probably got installed in the 17. So they're a couple of years old. Uh, we did that, we did this, two furnace, we're back here, slide out. It does have a switch for compartment door lights. Let me see if I can go ahead and I'll turn that on inside. Maybe I'll just lift. It's got outside entertainment, old boob tube. You can take it out, put you a nice 50-inch TV here, whatever fits. Got a couple of speakers here. 
So this uh, slide out tray comes out. Take a look at my picture. It's a one piece solid fiberglass roof, not a rubber roof, huh? Oh, electric awning. Electric awning, push push of a button, it comes out, and it's a garage. That's, an high, that's a high dollar awning. You don't see the arms coming out on the side. It's, it's armless, I guess if you'd call it, just come straight out, boxed awning. That's a Gerard, is a brand high dollar awning. It is American Eagle. All right, so let's talk about a bad thing here. Stress crack. Okay, buddy of mine had that ever since he bought it. He bought it six, seven years ago. So let, let's come really close, please. Look at it, it goes from here on top of the refrigerator and it ends but right where the little uh, curvy sign is and it stops below the porch light so it doesn't go all the way okay and a lot of people ask me email why is it there? i have no idea it was there when he bought it only thing i could see i could think of it there's your boiler back here refrigerator gets hot maybe it got hot and i don't know i've never seen one but uh you got this right here so uh again uh that's something we don't have at Body Shop. They're gonna fix this, so uh, I think that's the way it goes. But I'm sure if you wanted to have it fixed, you may be looking at a thousand, two thousand dollars, and we don't know if it'll come back or not. But that's there, and it comes free of charge. And we'll see it inside. There's no damage inside. A lot of people are concerned if it was any water leaks. No water leaks. It's just got a stress fiberglass crack, and that is there. Uh, look at the windows. They're not fogged up. They're just a little, I see white chalky stuff from rain, but no foggy windows. A lot of these motorhomes have a foggy windows. I mean, let's step back and look at this motorhome. It is a beautiful condition. You get the stress crack, but it's got a few flaws, but it's beautiful paint. Got an entrance awning, which is a manual. So you just stick this thing in and uh, work it back in. I think there's, a, I like to show a little body damage uh, right here on that uh, hydraulic slide for the generator. Uh, right here, maybe that's from scrubbing this thing in. It's got a little damage here. Uh, again, that's for going in and out. So we've, okay, let's, I'm going to show you a couple more stuff on top of the windshield the crown of the motorhome got a little bit of clear coat coming off i've got a body shop guy can probably do that for five six hundred bucks he all right i want to show you under the coach a little bit so look under the oh by the way i got the compartment lights on now take a look at it underneath it's a south carolina north carolina coach look, there's no significant rust i mean actually there's no rust uh it's very 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 clean and i've got the engine running so I can let you hear the motor back here. Listen to this ISL 400. No exhaust manifold sound or leak sound, anything like that. Listen to that engine. I could probably open the engine up. All right, the engine, we just opened the engine cover up. Look at it inside. That's an ISL 400. And it rides on a Spartan chassis. Beautiful sounding machine. All right, let's go inside and finish this video. Come on in this beautiful American Eagle. Got some uh, compartment here and electronic stuff here. All right, it's got a carpet. Those folks who have subscribed to our channel, we do not have carpet in any of our motorhome but like i say this is consignment belong to a friend of ours we're just gonna sell it like it is he wants to sell it like it is no passenger seat you see it right here if you wanted to put a passenger seat you're gonna have to remove those sofa or move it that way i don't know there's a room you could probably move this sofa or gotta have a different sofa and you could probably bolt another seat back there we don't do it we're not a full service dealership if i have to guess you're talking a couple of thousand dollars. Get one from Junkyard. It's American Eagle seat. You probably want to say something American Eagle unless you get American Tradition seat and have it stitched or something. All right. It's, uh, let's, let's start the video right here. Talking about the uh, smart steering wheel. 
tilt, telescopic. All your controls are here for cruise control, ICC lights, uh, wiper blades, all that stuff. So let me turn the wipers off. We've got an exhaust brake right here, off and on. I've got a pedal adjustment. I can go up and down on a pedal, pedals. Uh, these are the uh, uh, jack system. It's got a power gear, hydraulic levelers. So I'm going to retract them all. They're going up. Okay, because we're going to be. Oh, uh, we have a power window that does not work. It's got a power window. Maybe a fuse or something. We'll look at it. If it's not fuse, it could be motor. But the power mirror don't work. You know what? It could be something fuse related because none of these power uh, mirrors are working either. So it could be a fuse related. We can have it checked out. Again, I say this is a consignment, so we'd like to sell it like it is. These things don't work. The power windows or power mirrors. Uh, dome light works. Uh, all this uh, docking light works. 87,229 miles. Got a nice little radio, and it works. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, that works. Got a backup monitor. Really good shape. We had a filter change. I think that's what we did. We took it to a Cummins and had, oh, we just had new filters, fuel filters put on. A uh, generator runs beautiful. Got some drawers here. Let's see. Oh, maybe that's a subwoofer. All right. Got power seats. That works. Got an older TV here with a DVD and VCR and a surround sound system. Got a v, old VHS uh, video cassette player, video distribution box, uh, with a digital converter. You can still run this TV unless you want to change it. You could amplified antenna. It must have a. It may have a dish up there. I don't know because it shows right here some kind of view or stow. I don't know what's up there. We may we may try to throw that in. All right. So this seat does swivel around two sofas across both of them I think this one may not open oh no this one opens up two jackknives into the bed and that jackknives into the bed they're both leather sofa got a slight little wear but you know consistent with the uh, miles and age but no tears or rips it's a nice leather sofa I love their uh, Korean countertop I mean Korean hard surface how they do the work on it the blinds are in good shape too. oh blinds are in really good shape yes thank you we got a camera person that helps showing more look no 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 I know there wasn't really adult so being a racing coach it was adult a lot of adults in here no kids or no drink spills or nothing really good I like the lights they got an interior lights behind it too behind the uh, window treatment all the owners manuals and records are right here so you know it's got a few flaws and stuff needs to be added, like, you know, as a digital, I think that's a direct disc converter. But, you know, it, it's, it's got a lot of positive stuff, real nice wood, original, maybe cherry, what color do you call it? I don't know. It's a uh, real wood. American Eagle doesn't do a cheap job. Uh, it's got an extension leaf in there, so you can take it off, and it'll reduce to it, you know. You can take this leaf off. So right now, I mean, look, they even put Corian countertop. A hard surface here too next to the sofa a uh, beautiful kitchen same countertops very clean coach by the way no smells of a uh, dog or smoke odor no uh, cigarette smoke odor that's a good thing it's very clean inside odor. so uh, no pad odor this is a 40 EM model, 2002 American Eagle EM. And the water capacity, I'd like to see it somewhere. So it's a fresh water, 105 gallon, but I saw that extra uh, tank on it. So it could be more than 105. That's your stove. I love American Eagle, what they do. Some of the diesel pushers, they don't have traditional oven. They just put a convection oven. This thing, however, has a bake. Yep, it's a convection oven, too. This uh, GE profile is convection oven, but you have traditional oven as well. Look at this. I don't think they cooked at all in here. 
It looks new. Dual stainless steel sinks. Four door refrigerator. Works on ALP. Yep, pull that sprayer. Ice maker up on top. Let's see, all right. Big mirror here. Surround sound, I don't know if they work or not. I'm sure they do. Uh, no water leaks, nice ceiling. One of the bulb is burned out here. Uh, got a light behind here too, like a rope lights in the mirror. Beautiful. Sliding pantry here. And then we have a door here. Should, should have door, yeah. It's got a little thing here and it opens up. It gives you privacy. Coming into the uh, lock back, it's, in, uh, it's got a little latch on top. Some drawers, more storage. Come in the center part of the coach, we have a, oh, it's got an electric water heater plug. So it, it is a water heater, it's a 10 gallon LP or electric, lots of counter space and a lavatory area. Medicine cabinets, nice. Stand up shower with the little foldable seat that folds back up into the wall. And look at this, see? I wish we had that in our Eagle. I like that. Uh, huh? Yep. And it's got an adjustable, adjustable shower head. We have a. Turn the engine off. You gotta put the seat back up. Which one? Put the seat down. Put the seat back up. Oh, because it'll, it'll, it'll. Oh, that's what it was. You're a smart woman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that's what it was. Got another little closet back here. Oh, it's deep too on that side. You can put more than just toilet paper. Got a washer dryer combo here. Thank you. It's got a private toilet, washer dryer combo. I bet you it's not, probably not been used. Oh, some bed sheets and stuff that goes with the motorhome. Should be drawer under there. Yep. Hey, another beanie. Look at the tile. By the way, we didn't discuss tile. I didn't see any cracks. They look really good. I love this shiny marble, porcelain, ceramic tile, whatever you call it. Uh, don't see, doesn't seem to be any damage. Do you see? I don't see any crack. If you find one, you get it for free. I can't see it. All right. So back here, we got another, oh, uh, it's got a. Was it tile in the bathroom too? Oh, yes. It goes into the toilet area. Awesome. We have a privacy door for a bedroom. Solid door. Got a little stopper right here. So come on back in the bedroom. Carpet continues here. Again, those folks that know our own coaches, it's not our own coach, we'll be putting a uh, you know driver passenger seat back in there, putting a hardwood floors, but we don't have time to fool with it. And it'll be a lot more money than what we're asking now. A slight little, a small little counter space there. Another vanity space here with the six drawers. And again, I can't believe how good condition all these windows are, the strings and all. So queen size bed. Let's see what's under the bed. Not much of a storage. Maybe you can put some bed sheets and stuff. Can you open it up? Yeah, it's probably electronic stuff under here. You gotta, you get, you have to like unscrew them. There's nothing in there. So. That's where all your 12 volt and a 120, all your uh, circuit breakers are. I think that was engine block heat. On and off, that's, I don't know what that is. Stationary satellite. It does have wind guard satellite up on top. Off and on buttons, I presume there's one. Now they do make a California Queen. You could probably use this another four or five inches got a couple of stains here that could be from stain you know like a, a window left open or something got some stain on this backboard okay i like to point that out 
but the treat window treatment looks good those are the speakers you have a back window uh, this one probably needs to be restrung lots of stuff that goes with the motorhome another boop tube here Yep, nice carpet up here. Open up here, got some more, oh, pillow covers and stuff that came with the coach. Got a pretty deep coat closet. Let me see where the switch is. There we go, got the light on. Hey, he's got a bunch of carpets in here. Rolled up carpet, goes with the motorhome. Uh, there's a safe on this side. You will pack your heat or put some jewelry, whatever. Pretty deep coat closet. It's a cedar line or whatever they call what they call cedar wood. I don't see any water leak stains or anything like that, you know. And uh, again, I'm, I'm I'm trying to nitpick as much as talking about water leak and stuff. See, wallpaper looks good. And yeah, I might feel a little bit of a D lamp here. And there's a one little tear on the paper wallpaper right there. So you know, you get that for free. But uh, like I say, no cigarette smoke smell, no mildew odor. This is a good solid coach. We may get up on top. It's almost dark. We may get up on top and show you guys a little stain. Yeah, a little stain. Thank you. Uh, I believe we've done a good job showing you lots of flaws along with a good solid American Eagle motorhome. 87,000 miles, about 7,600 hours on generator, no passenger seat, stress crack. But other than that, it's an American Eagle at a great price. We take trades of only if they are RVs. Fifth wheels, they're cold, so we'll give you below wholesale on the a, on a fifth wheel. You're better off selling on your own, but we'll take a trade. We'll give you numbers. Trailers, we take that on trade. Trucks, we take them on trade. Uh, motorhomes, we'll take on trade. We help you to get finance, even though it's a 2002. We have a program. We have a lady that can get you financed as, as long as your credit score is above 700. 650 to 700 is really tough to do unless you're putting a whole bunch of money down. Uh, people are paying cash, don't have to worry about financing. It, it runs good, by the way, Motorhome runs good. So uh, give me a call. I prefer text communication, 864-404-0054. That's my number, 864-404-0054. Let's see anything else I can add here. Uh, we do sell warranties. If you like to add a warranty, you got to buy it when you buy the motorhome. But uh, we're a small dealership. Uh, we're trying to fix a little stuff. But, you know, other than that, this is it. Thanks for your time watching our video on this 2002 American Eagle. Have a blessed day. Thank you.